Hi everybody! Today we're going to be reading If You Give a Cat a Cupcake by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. It's an AR level 2.4, so if you want to take an AR test on it, you can. Just click the button that says that you were read to. You might have already taken AR tests on this one because it's a very popular book, but it'll be fun to listen to anyways. If you're looking for a way to get your reading in during this time, maybe you could do something fun like we dressed up today as kitties and we got some supplies and Hadley's going to do some acting out. And you could record yourself reading a book and maybe send it to a family member or a friend. So if you give a cat a cupcake, if you give a cat a cupcake, if you give a cat a cupcake, he'll ask for some sprinkles to go with it. When you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. Cleaning up will make him hot, so you'll give him a bathing suit and take him to the beach. He'll want to go in the water and build a sand castle too. Then he'll look for seashells. He'll find a few other things as well. He'll put them in his pail and try to pick it up. He'll decide he needs to work out at the gym. First, he'll warm up on the treadmill. Then he'll lift a weight or two. He might even try a karate class. After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. When you get there, he'll see the rocks. He'll climb as high as he can go. At the top, he'll see the lake. He'll want you to take him rowing. He'll be the captain and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and want to go for a ride. He'll want you to go for a ride too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum. He'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find the dinosaurs. Then he'll visit the Hall of Apes. When the Science Museum closes, you'll be the last to leave. On the way home, you'll pass by the beach. You'll have to help him gather all of his things. Lift it. Then he'll want to race you. When you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes. He might spill some on the floor. Seeing the sand on the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some sprinkles, he'll want a cupcake to go with them. <laughs> so there you go. That's if you give a cat a cupcake and there's lots from this author. Um, if you give a dog a donut. If you give a moose a muffin. A moose a muffin. If you give a pig a pancake, if you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a mouse a brownie. Okay, so lots of them. So maybe we'll do another one. So thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well and we're thinking of you. Bye. And I hope you eat cupcakes. <laughs>